A new multi-million dollar power plant will soon be coming to Idaho Falls. So what does this construction project mean for the people? Local News 8's Seth Ratliff is getting the answers. Todd, sparks fly this Valentine's Day, and in addition to the electric feeling in the air, the city of Idaho Falls has announced a $36 million power plant. I'm standing at the future site of that plant off Iona Road near the intersection with Yellowstone Highway. According to the city, Idaho Falls Power currently operates five hydroelectric power facilities on the Snake River, which lets the power company charge lower rates than the average price across the country. But those power plants only produce about one-third of the city's energy needs. What we're finding is during uh, cool periods and winter peaks and during the summer, during those hot afternoons, power prices are hundreds of dollars, which is, you know, two to three, four times the price of what we charge our you know, current customers. So anything we can do to avoid uh, having to buy that expensive energy on the market and be able to generate our own electricity here to avoid those high prices will help lower our costs overall, which helps us maintain our low rates. Unlike Idaho Falls' current plants, the new one would be powered by natural gas. But the city told me they're looking the into future opportunities to switch to a cleaner energy source. One of the great things about the uh, designs of this plant and the generators is they are looking at the potential uh, use. They can burn uh, hydrogen, which is a non-carbon emitting fuel source. So this is going to be a clean energy research park on top of uh, this generation facility that will help keep rates affordable uh, and provide reliable power for Idaho Falls for years to come. Idaho Falls Power plans to start construction summer 2024. As the project is off a busy intersection, I wanted to know how this would impact drivers. For people driving down Iona Road onto North Yellowstone Highway, will there be any impact for visibility for them driving down that way? No, no. This, uh, the, there's no visibility. There'll be, um, there's no, you know, sight. There's no, you know, there won't be any steam or any emission, you know, that you can see coming off of this facility. So there's no, no visual impairments, no visual impacts uh, with this project. During construction, it will be off of Iona Road, and we'll have some road and site improvements with the county that we'll, we'll do, but we don't ex expect any, you know, traffic impacts during in construction even after. They estimate that plant will be fully operational by December of next year. Reporting live in Idaho Falls, I'm Local News 8's Seth Ratliff.